well, 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 well. Damn, Daniel. Trying to take this road down here to this deer valley or something, but I turned too early. Now I gotta figure out where I wanna go. That guy really turned a little bit too late. I'm really glad I was actually turning here because he would have pulled out in front of me. And here we are. This is the place where I've been sort of doing most of my recent moto vlogs. But I came in the back way today. I usually come out this side. All right, well, before we get started today, I want to uh, announce that I have stickers available. They're four inch long uh, vinyl transfer stickers with the FTB logo on them. They're gorgeous, uh, they're delicate, so if you purchase them, make sure that you apply them correctly. Basically, you peel off the back side, which is paper, and then you have the vinyl attached to, uh, to the plastic. And then you take that, you press it on to clean glass, make sure you clean the glass first. And then you uh, press it on, you know, press all the letters on real hard, and then gently peel that plastic off. And then you should have a perfectly clean uh, vinyl white outline of my logo. I love how those types of stickers work, and I've been wanting to do these for a while. Uh, they're just more expensive, so I, f I think I've got enough people on here now who will buy enough of them. So I made like a hundred. So there's plenty to go around. If you want one, get one. Um, I haven't decided on a price yet, so let's decide on a price right now. Um, free. No, I'm kidding. Uh, how about six bucks? Because that's enough. I'll make my money back if I sell about 20 of them. So yeah, I think six bucks sounds good. Uh, they'll be on my eBay, that's in the description. It makes it easy for you, that way you just shoot me money through there, you don't have to, you can just pay with a credit card and eBay will take your information and you don't have to do any any weird goofy stuff. Cause like last time I tried doing this, I didn't have the eBay account. I thought, I'll just tell people to send me money on PayPal. Like, so I had people contact me personally if you want to do it that way, you can, but it's probably easier just to go through eBay. Bunch of debris up here. I don't want to get a flat. Um, but the topic for today, I decided on last night. I had a guy contact me on Instagram, and he told me that he was out with his buddy, and they were riding, and they were actually going to film a dual vlog, like a camping dual vlog, like I do, but with two people. God, there's a lot of trash out here. I'm gonna have to turn around because I am actually gonna get a flat. Like those boards right there have nails in them. Um, I'm losing my train of thought here because of that freaking that board with the nails in it. Him and his buddy were riding, and without really any any obstacle, this guy his his buddy crashed and uh, broke his ankle pretty bad. And all they were doing was just riding straight down a road. And there weren't any potholes, there weren't any ruts, like nothing really happened. The bike just kind of got unbalanced, he lost control, and he went down really hard. <laughs> and so I watched the video, because the guy, he was, they were making a, a dual vlog at the time when it happened, and frankly it was an awesome video. Probably one of the best dual vlogs I've seen, just because, I don't know, just a real conversation between two guys about, oddly enough, motorcycle safety. And, uh, and then this happened. But you're watching the video, and then like, when he crashes, it's like, Shit gets real, man. Like, I'm pretty sure he was unconscious for a couple seconds. A spouse that supports that? Oh, shit! Hey, are you okay, dude? What hurts? He, uh, yeah, I don't know, he sh shattered his ankle just falling off the bike, hit his head pretty hard, obviously. But the video gets really intense, and, and I just want to try to share that with people. This is too sandy, because uh, it's amazing. And, I mean, I've, I've never had a crash like that, but if I did, I would be alone, because I only ride alone. Uh, and I try to be overly cautious, which kind of makes me look like a dumbass a lot of times but like just then I turned around because I didn't want to ride to the sand um, 
But I encourage people to go check out this video. It's a uh, the channel is called Dual ADV. The main guy's name is uh, Dakota. It's Dakota and Garen, and Garen was the one who got hurt. Um, but go check out his YouTube channel. Check out this video. It's I mean like even even without the crash, it would have been an awesome video. Actually, it's 17 minutes long, and whenever I see a long vlog like that, I'm always like, all right, this better be this better be good. <laughs> But it's worth every minute. Like they they have an awesome conversation about motorcycle safety, and then he crashes, and you pretty much can't stop watching. <sighs> this is a operating instructions for a dialysis machine. The things you find. Away all their family photos or something? Something this is distracting from an otherwise pretty serious video. But I just happened to ride up on it. Go check out that video. Um, it's, it's worth every minute. It's very good. And I kind of wish those guys would make more dual vlogs. <laughs> Most people, surprisingly, don't make a video every week like I do because they're normal people and they have lives and they have sense in their head. I'm not normal. I try to find things to talk about every week, entertain people, <laughs> and it's not always good. But anyway, go check out his video. If, it's, if you like it, consider subscribing to it because I think that guy's doing some pretty cool stuff. And uh, I hope Gary heals soon. And if I'm ever up in Washington, I wanna ride with you guys. But anyway, watching the video got me thinking about gear as it should because Garen was wearing motocross boots um, he was wearing full gear like everything he had you know his jacket his pants his helmet obviously is everything um, I don't know if he had pads on like I wear these Fox Titan pads um, and then he had motocross boots on and again we think it because I bought a pair of motocross boots once and I couldn't stand them where this goes. This could be a mistake. Wow, we are really exploring now. But I had a pair of, ah, that was sharp. I had a pair of motocross boots. Uh, I ordered them a while back with some AdSense money that I had, and I hated them so much because they were so stiff and rigid, I couldn't tell if I was pushing on the rear brake, and I would lock it constantly and I couldn't tell if I was shifting like what gear I was in I couldn't tell if the shifter even clicked and it just pissed me off and I realized that you get used to that stuff and if you're running around riding fast and hard all the time like you're not even gonna probably care um, but I care because I don't ride around fast and hard I like to feel what my feet are doing and so I returned them and I got street boots which are Cortec Latigo uh, motors like sport bike boots and they work okay. They do everything I need, but I haven't crashed in them yet. So it's like, I don't have the proper ankle support. And so if I did crash, I mean, this guy shattered his ankle with the proper footwear, and it's like, I don't... Like, you make sacrifices. Like, I get it. Like, when you wear proper gear, you're it's not comfortable. That's the reason why nobody wants to wear it. And so I convinced myself that wearing these is good enough, but in reality, like, it's probably not good enough. I don't know. I'd like to think that it is, but if I go down at like, I mean, the guy was doing 40 miles an hour. Like, watch the video. Like, I think his bike fell on his ankle or something, though. I don't know. I don't know. I actually got to watch the video again. But it's intense because, I mean, I definitely need to wear motocross boots when I do this. I should definitely wear pants, like proper riding pants when I come out. I, like normally when I do these kinds of videos, I just wear hiking pants. <laughs> they're really durable and they're really flexible and they breathe really well. So they're like actually super comfy. But when I go on highway trips, I wear these uh, Sedici you know, abrasion resistant riding pants. And they actually, they've already torn. 
just from regular wear and tear. So I bet you if I crashed them, they'd probably fly right off. I think nothing is as durable as we act like it is. Everybody's like, oh, you gotta wear your riding pants until they tear and you realize they're not as strong as you thought they were. I think that's Deer Valley Road. I'm gonna go check it out. Well, I think I might actually need to turn around because I don't... None of this looks familiar. Except for that mountain and those power lines. But I don't see a road that goes over to the power lines. Well, anyway, I think I've probably said enough on this, uh, on this topic. So, I think I'll just change topics here because when I was talking to um, Dakota today, I, it occurred to me that I think dual vlogging is just so much better than like just single video blogging because you have a real conversation with another person so like all of these ideas that I have could be bounced off of another person and discussed like in real time and you, you can listen to an actual conversation just like a podcast instead of listening to me just ramble to myself which arguably works but I'm gonna get some Senna's eventually here with next time I've got the cash maybe my next AdSense payment I'll try to make that happen try to set something up because I like it I like it I don't think there's enough of it and this Dakota guy is doing pretty he's doing a pretty good job with it so yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get out of here I gotta I gotta focus this is starting to look familiar <laughs> yeah all right well um, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go home so then we go buy a sticker and uh, check out uh, Check out Dual ADV. It's a cool channel. If those guys keep making videos. <laughs> Bye. I promise to be there in every single way. We're doing this together every step we take. Closer to each other. So much to 